Tonight, what we're going to talk about is this uh, Proposition R. Proposition R is a non-binding referendum that gives you, the, the taxpayers of the city of St. Louis and the voters in the city of St. Louis, an opportunity to let us know how you feel about the police residency rule. But I have to tell you, I feel a little bit outnumbered tonight because we're, we're you know, at the St. Louis Police Department, <laughs> Police Department, and I have to debate Kevin here, and Kevin isn't a small guy, if you, <laughs> you know what I mean. And I told the officers back there a little bit earlier not to throw any bottles if I said the wrong thing. But, but again, I think it's an, a very important issue uh, facing the city of St. Louis. The police uh, board took, uh, in, in my opinion, uh, a position um, earlier this year that was that I think was counter to what the voters had told us in the past. When the voters said that they want the police officers to live in the city of St. Louis, they feel safer, they feel better if the police officers live in the city of St. Louis. But also in today's age, when you look at the issues, you know, the, the issues that we have across this country with safety and security. I think it's important for the city of St. Louis to, okay, one minute left, the <laughs> city of St. Louis to have our officers live here in case of a disaster or in case of, you know, some foreign attack or whatever, we can mobilize our forces better. Uh, I had to agree with uh, Mr. Shrewsbury that uh, this is probably a moot point, and, and I think it is a moot point, but I know that it, it, it is a very important issue for uh, the citizens. Uh, and it basically comes down to, to one thing, recruitment and retention. Uh, over the past several years, we have been losing an average of 10 to 12 officers per month. Now that's a huge, huge turnover. And whether they say it or not, they have an exit interview, but, but pretty much they're told, don't say residency is the reason you left. We are losing young officers at an astounding rate. Uh, last year, the uh, Board of Police Commissioners relaxed the rule. Uh, and allowed officers with seven years or over to move. Um, our uh, attrition rate has dropped drastically. I think this is a very basic issue. The police department consumes about one-third of our city's budget. You pay that through your taxes that you pay each and every day. You have the right to choose whether you want the police officers to live in the city of St. Louis or not. It's your choice. It's not the choice of three or four board members, you know, a couple of which appointed by the governor. It's your choice. Getting back to the issue about uh, a disaster. Last year, when we had the Praxar explosion, that was the first call back to duty the St. Louis Police Department has had in over 20 years. Every officer that was called back to duty responded within one hour, every single one. If you can look at New Orleans, one of their biggest problems was officers not reporting because they were taking care of their families. If we have officers coming from an area that are not affected, you'll see them come. New Orleans had a, a horrible uh, rate with officers coming back because they took care of their families first. You pay the taxes, it's your choice. So that's, that's my stance. I think that the voters, if you come back and you vote on this non-binding referendum and you say, you know what? We don't want the police, we don't care whether the police officers live in the city of St. Louis or not. Then that's it. You've made your choice, and that's what we should, that's, that's our job to live by those choices. I'm glad Alderman Reed talked about choice because that's what this is about also, the freedom to uh, choose where you want to live. Uh, at the last police board meeting, uh, Julius Hunter, the most recent appointee of the board, made a very eloquent statement about when he was growing up being told where he could and where he could not live. And he said it was wrong then, and it's wrong now. We talk about budget. How much of the bud budget goes to city schools? I don't know how many of pe you people know this, but city school teachers are not required to live in the city of St. Louis. What the voters have told us is that if you're employed by the St. Louis Police Department, we want you to stay in the city. We want you to reside in the city. It's a, it's a matter of safety and security. I mean, I don't know that I feel any safer with my school teacher living next door to me, but I certainly would feel much safer as Kevin lived next door to me. Now, people say we should live here because uh, we'd feel more in tune to what's going on. Does that mean if I work in Hyde Park, I should, I should have to live in Hyde Park? I mean, it's ridiculous.